Hey guys, welcome to the Night Hawk Media Gimp Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make baseball logos. Now if you don't know what I mean by baseball logos, if you've ever seen a baseball game in your life, or you've watched a movie about baseball, or baseball players in them, you've probably seen a, um, like on the, on the jerseys, you've probably seen like an old school running riding sort of logo. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that. So before I start GIMP, I'm going to be starting uh, my in-app browser. Alright, so here's my YouTube page at the moment. Uh, looks pretty cool. I'm going to go to defont.com. Ah, oh, what? Hey, I'm trying it. Come on, come on, please, please. Alright, plan B. Uh, will this work? Aha, here we go. Um, go to urbanfonts.com and you're looking for a font called Marcel. M-A-R-C-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I'll have the link in the description. Alright, so you'll uh, have to unzip, extract some files from a zipped folder and then uh, you'll need to put it into um, your fonts file. You'll have to watch another keep tutorial for that. Ah, oh, what the heck, I'll show you this. Go to your computer, computer folder, C drive, users, your name, GIMP 2.6, and fonts. And just stick the um, font files in there. The font files are nothing else. Alright, so once that's done, let's open GIMP. I've got a thriller stuck in my head now because I was looking at um, Michael Jackson impersonators. Alright, so I'm going to go to make a new image and I'm going to make an A4 landscape photo. And here's Riddle. Hey, on, bud. Alright, and he just turns and walks away. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is make a black background. Alright, so let's get our text tool. And this is where we're going to uh, write the name of our team. In this case, I'm going to write Nighthawks. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Make sure your text box takes the whole width of the screen of the image. I was watching that um, iPhone icons tutorial today. Oh, really? Did you like it? It's okay. Did you do it, or did you just watch it? Um, I did it for a little bit, then I just went straight to Facebook. Okay. All right, so the, now we're going to get our electronic buttons have to do something. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to get um, find our Marcel text. Uh, here it is. Here, Marcel script bold is the one we want. My size is six hundred twenty-five. All right, so the next step once we've made our Nighthawks our um, team name text. We're going to get the, um, make a new text box and then write a letter, but just one letter. I'm going to choose, oh that's probably a good idea. We need to change, first of all we need to change the tech, the f colour to white and the font to Marcel Squashes. Uh, I'm just going to try, try a few, a few different ones. R U E That's a good one. Alright. My choice is E. It says just click on just select one letter and that'll be fine. Now that looks actually it looks very good at the S here where it 
where it's linked up but there's a very big gap there so what I'm gonna do I'll move it up a little bit more that's as far as I want to go and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna duplicate this layer hide the first one and scale the duplicate Uh, see how that looks. Alright, so that is our logo at the moment, and it actually looks pretty good. But the next thing we need to do is we need to make a new layer, and we're going to add some color to it. So let's Alpha just like the Nine Hawks layer. And I'll zoom into about uh 200%. What I'm gonna do, just like a one Nighthawk media logo, the very the N is blue and the others are either white or black, depending on the logo, if it's the black one or the white one or not. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my paintbox paintbrush tool, uh, hoping the new layer is selected and not the Nighthawks layer and we're just going to cover the N with blue and the dot of the I too and we're going to zoom back out to 25% select none, I'll see what we've done that looks really good next thing we need to do is make a new layer and it's going to be the very bottom, it's going to be white. Now, we're going to duplicate the white swash layer. Alpha to select it. And we're going to fill that with black. And then hide it. And then the Nighthawks layer, finally, duplicate it, get our text tool, and we're going to turn that black and then hide that one now there's our black one so we can save it as a JPEG but I'll, sa I'll show you guys this one first so I'm going to hide the black one hide the black background hide the oh got a new message sweet alright so hide the white Nighthawks layer hide uh, I'll turn the background off and hide the swash layer we're gonna bring the black one up the black Nighthawks and the black swash and the white background that looks extremely good I think that looks better than the black, than the black one to be honest so that's our tutorial for today thank you for watching please rate, comment and subscribe I'm Nighthawk Media and I'm out and you stop